We start with our top story today. Our youth tasked with leading the charge in a new violence prevention program. When we look at the deadly violence last year, it involved many young victims and suspects. Fox 59's Mike Sullivan shows us how the Marion County prosecutor is partnering with youth to draw a new vision of Indianapolis. Often change starts with a conversation, a chance to listen, or more importantly, to learn. Adults need to do a better job of listening to kids, and they need to do a better job of listening to young people when it comes to the topic of violence. Yesterday, three juveniles were arrested for carjacking a man at gunpoint on Andy Drive. Last week, a young woman, just 18 years old, was shot and killed at her south side apartment complex. These are kids. Because it impacts us all, we can all impact violence. When you give young people that opportunity, when you give young people that hope, when you empower young people, it can produce incredible results. Enter the latest anti-violence campaign from city leaders and anti-violence groups. 25 billboards will be placed around parts of the city impacted by violence, including here at Washington and Sherman. Each has a message created by young people, their words meant to spark discussion. If we can get enough young people to say, you know what, I absolutely can be that change, then we're really going to see a shift in this city. Brandon Randall is the executive director of Voices, an anti-violence group. We all know that a billboard is not changing the violence overnight. There's no program, no policy that will do that either. That being said, we still do the work. Randall says instilling children with hope and creative spaces counters trauma. You give a kid hope and remind them of their leadership potential and are consistent in your investment, then that it can shift things. The billboards center around two messages, one being root causes of violence like trauma, lack of access or self-preservation. People will see those billboards and say, wow, like lack of access, how does that cause trauma? And then have that conversation. And the second message is we are powerful, beautiful family and human. That despite violence in these neighborhoods. There was a positive message being represented. In Indianapolis, I'm Mike Sullivan, Fox 59 News. Now, the billboards you see here will actually be up for about the next four weeks, but organizers hope the discussions about violence continue much longer than that.